to start a new drawing, click this drop down arrow, click new. And since I'm using millimeters, I'm gonna use Akadisu 3D template for metric units and click open. So I'm just gonna arrange my window. So go to view, tile vertically. I'm gonna move this one to the other side. So click this window, click tile vertically again. And I'm just gonna adjust this one here. I'm gonna make this wider. Just and work on parallel projection. So click this drop down arrow here by the view cube and select parallel. And create a new layer for construction line. So go to home. Select layer properties. Select a new layer icon or click layer icon. Click this box. Index color. Change the color to red. Click OK. And close. Now make that red uh, layer current. And create a construction line. And the height for that, and the height of this object is 378 as shown here. So L for line. Click anywhere here. Uh, before we start, go down to the status bar and make sure your dynamic input is on. Ortho mode or polar tracking. I'm just gonna click ortho mode for now. And object snap tracking, object snap, and selection cycling. So L for line. Click anywhere here. Move your cursor upward for 378. And enter all right so I'm gonna start working from the top I'm gonna create this cylinder about this height so type in C change the layer first back to zero so C click that in point type D for diameter option enter and enter 18 so extrude command inside the modeling panel. Select the object and bring it down for 22 units. Now I'm gonna create this portion here. This one, but this one is not circular. As you can see here, this line, this is another corner of this. The top is square. So what I'm gonna do is bring this object to bottom and draw a circle. Snap the center, snap the quadrant, and select uh, polygon inside the draw panel, and enter 4 because we want a square, and specify center point of polygon, just shift right click, and snap the center, and circumscribe about circle, so just snap the quadrant. And I wanna, I wanna rotate this one, this square, so select the square, specify base point, so just snap the center, shift right click, select center, and uh, turn this around and just snap this in point. Because this one is measured diagonally, so from this end point to this end point, that's why it looks um, wider. So if I bring this to front view, but if I move this around, like uh, this view here about uh, 45 degrees I think, uh, it's just the same size as the diameter of this uh, cylinder. So anyway, I'm gonna bring this back to southwest isometric and extrude this one downward for 36 units as shown here, this one. Now hold down the shift key and the wheel of your mouse at the same time, bring your drawing around and draw a circle so c for circle snap that center and type d for diameter option and enter 32 which is this one here now extrude this one for 28 units which is this one so extrude command enter and move it downward for 28 units I'm just going to change this to conceptual so I could see the cut of this object because uh, this cylinder and the next ones are of the same um, diameter. So circle, snap the center, snap the quadrant, select that circle and extrude it downward for 28 
not 28, 102 units. Which is uh, this one here. I'm just going to turn off the grid. And another circle, snap the center, snap the quadrant, select that circle, and extrude it downward for 164, which is this one. And another cylinder. This time the size is different or the diameter. So see for circle, snap the center, type D for diameter option and enter 24, which is this one here. And the height for that is 14, this one. All right, so select that circle, extrude downward for 14 units. Create another circle, snap the center, type D for diameter option, and the diameter is 40, so enter 40, which is this one here. And extrude this one downward for uh, 6 units. And uh, I'm gonna draw a line from quadrant so shift right click and select quadrant now bring this one first to front view and line shift right click select quadrant snap that and snap this in point or quadrant so shift right click and select quadrant and draw another line from in point move it upward or just snap the center so shift right click Select center and enter. So this is how it looks. So we have another line. So I could uh, delete this uh, construction line now. Delete. And what I'm going to do here is draw an ellipse. So um, move this one to front view or change the view to front view. And inside the draw panel, click this drop down arrow. Select three point arc. So click that um, shift right click and select in point or quadrant. This one here, click this in point and shift right click, select quadrant. Now what I'm going to do is trim. So TR for trim command, enter twice, click that and cut this one here. Now I'm going to join the segment. So type J for join command, enter. Select that, select this arc, and select this line. Now this is one object. Now I can revolve this object now. So REV for revolve command. Or you can go to modeling panel. Select this polyline. Right click, enter. And specify axis start point. So to start from the very end there. So in point. And bring it down to this in point. And enter zero or 360 degrees so just enter zero all right so i'm gonna create the thread and i'm gonna use helix so inside the draw panel click this drop down arrow select helix and snap the center of this helix here this is the cutting point and snap that circle and AutoCAD is asking you for base radius. So I'm just going to use, so I'm just going to snap the quadrant. So right click, or shift right click and select um, quadrant, snap that. And AutoCAD is asking you again for the top radius. So just enter, so to accept. So enter. And for the turn height, which is the pitch, so click uh, turn height and enter 8 and enter and for the axis endpoint it's supposed to be here on this endpoint but I'm just gonna snap the very endpoint there or the very center there at the very top because I'm gonna slice it anyway because I want the end to be sharper so just snap that inside the coordinates panel click this drop down arrow and select this biggest one see the plane has changed so we're now facing the XY plane so rectangle click anywhere 
type in 4, comma, then 4. There you go. Now, I'm going to sweep this one. So I'm just going to change this to wireframe. All right. So I'm going to move this one from input to input. So shift right click and snap that input. All right. So I'm going to sweep this one. So sweep command inside the modeling panel. Select the object you want to sweep. Enter. And uh, inside the command window or the command prompt, select uh, base point, select this in point, and select the path. There you go. Now, I'm going to draw a line from the cutting point, which is, I'm going to change this to conceptual because it's easier to see the cut. So, this one here. Okay, line. Specify first point snap this in point here or quadrant there and draw a line somewhere here another line from the quadrant here so shift right click select quadrant and just draw a line there make sure the line is straight so you can turn on your ortho mode all right just want to make sure there now I'm gonna slice this uh, helix or thread so go to solid select slice command select the helix or the thread specify start point of slicing plane start from this in point move sideways click anywhere and AutoCAD is asking you to specify a point on the desired side so click this one down here and then slice this one again so slice select the thread right click specify start point start from here go sideways and go and click above the cutting plane to select that side and there you go now it's sharper as you can see here and this edge here is sharper all right so i could delete those Now, I'm going to combine all the objects. So, inside the Boolean um, section or panel, select Union Command and just Union the whole thing. Now, this is one object and I'm going to change this to Realistic. And I think I'm done. So, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that uh, bell icon to get notified for the next tutorial. Please watch for the next uh, part that I'm going to post in the next few days or maybe tomorrow. See you again.